client had a problem. She headed up a program at Children's Hospital Los Angeles. But one morning, she had to give a 10-minute presentation to the employees of a sponsoring company of the hospital. People would just kind of glaze over, <laughs> out of boredom. And then at the end, they do nothing more than just politely clap, and that was it. And when she was showing signs of distress, I asked her, would you like me to help you? And she said yes. So we discussed what she was going to say. I saw her later that day, and the way she described it, she said that when she began to speak this time, you could hear the pin drop. They were instantly captivated. And then at the end, instead of slightly clapping, they rushed her with their business cards at the end. And they even invited her to apply for a grant. That our entire conversation that day took two minutes. In two minutes, she transformed her entire presence as a speaker. How on earth did that happen? There is a missing link in much of the content that public speakers put out into the world. The thing that this is missing is something that ties it all together. Something that brings everything down to a central point. A silver bullet, if you will. We look at something called the Art of War, the ancient military treatise. Then he says this on line 18 of the first chapter, all of warfare is deception. You might have heard this line. This is seen in television shows. It's seen in movies. It shows up throughout popular culture. And then all these other things all come down to this single thing that basically empowers the reader without any other context at all. They have his recipe for winning at war. Basically, what we're looking at is an action and an outcome created in a cause and effect relationship in a single sentence. When we take this action, we are going to get this outcome. 46 out of the 50 most popular TED Talks have a silver bullet, and yet almost nothing else does. This was her silver bullet. We didn't think of that in that two-minute conversation. We actually had thought of it prior to that day, but we had a two-minute conversation because we had crystal clarity on what her entire message was all about. People are most likely to integrate new information. Things are most likely to stick in their minds when they can act on its most basic element.